Hey, seeing is believing. Finally, I'm in Ukraine for one good lesson. To learn and to share with you the best of the best practices of agriculture that Ukrainians have adopted and it has put them to the world map as best grain producers, as best dairy farmers, in general as best farmers. What is this that Ukrainians are doing differently from what we are doing? I'm lucky to have met this one great dairy farmer who has high-tech dairy farming and doing the greatest of the greatest when it comes to dairy farming. <laughs> Please. <laughs> As you all know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a man of numbers. I'm a farmer who deals with numbers. And this was the, the first question to ask how many cows are there yes i was i was seeing uh, there there are so many animals there but i wanted to know how many were they yeah, in, in one barn there is like a thousand cows uh, one thousand cows so it's uh, there's four groups of 250 cows each and one by one they go you see them walking there yeah. in the middle yeah. they could go to the milking parlor um, it's a very important that they come back as fast as possible. Right there, they, 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 some coming back. Yeah, so uh, you know, one group is there, and within um, 40, 50 minutes, they are all back into their pens. You know, so the the the, 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 the sooner they are back, the better it is for the cows. You know, because yeah. all the, otherwise it's distraction, yeah. stress, yes, yes, and yes. stuff. So. Um, yes. And the weather, if it's cold, what do you do? Doesn't matter. They up to the cow is better off. In minus 20, oh, then in plus 30. So the optimum temperature for a cow like this is like 4 degrees Celsius. So they are they're okay, yeah. Now they're perfectly, this is perfect weather for cows. Okay. That's why the Netherlands is also so good in cows, because on, this, on the coast, on the sea, it's always windy and cold. Uh, and that's why the cows, they, 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 they perform so well in the, in the Netherlands. You also have cows in Saudi Arabia, for example. They cool them six times a day with a lot of water from the well so that's it's uh, it's crazy you know and here we have also cooling with ventilation uh -huh. and the roof is insulated with sandwich panels so the heat of the sun cannot. does cannot go through so it's not against the cold the sandwich panels this insulation is against the heat yes so uh and uh, and that's how the cow the the, the, cow, the cow stays cool but it, because if you don't cool them down your milk production can fall from 39 below 30. You know, if, if, they, if, it's, if, if it's 35 degrees outside, for example. And when the cows go into the milking parlor, we cool them, we cool them additionally there as well, with a little with water if, uh, if needed. You pour on the cow. The Sorry? You pour the water on the cow. We pour water on the cow. Mm. It's like when you go to the shower, yeah. and when you go out of the shower and you, you yes. don't dry yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get cold. Yes. Mm. It's that effect we use with the cows as well. So and we make them wet. It produces more. Sorry? It produces more. Yeah. And yeah, then, it, yeah, then the production stays stable. Yes. You know, cows, they love stability. Okay. Every day the same. Every day, it's boring. Cows are very boring. No, actually. So, so right. every, day, <laughs> every day the same. Do you have a routine feeding or the feed is always available for them when they need it it's always available and so yeah you know yeah it's all so it's 24 hours maybe a few an hour per day it's um, it's not available then they are cleaning but then there's immediately fresh uh, fresh feed available approximately how many kgs per cow do you approximate i don't know 30 kilos or something okay from dry, dry man no, 30 is too much, I think. Uh huh. Um, I don't know, but I, there's, yeah, they're spilling it a little bit. And you know, we build these walls. Yes. Um, because then you don't have to push the feed to the cows. You know, and then um, so it saves uh, labor. Um, you know, if somebody forgets to push it back in, or so this you don't, here you don't have to. It's always there, and if it's wet like this, 
and you come in with a tractor to push it in, you have mud on the wheels, you drive over the feet, the feet gets dirty, so this feet never gets dirty. So it's a tractor that drops this? Yes, yes it's a feed mixer. And uh, it comes from both sides? Or yeah. side? No, this is for straw. Um, so the, this is the one over there. Yeah, 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 in yeah. the end. So, oh, right. okay. well, actually, it's not this one, but it's a similar uh, machine like this. Um, the tagging I've seen, uh, you've done a different target from the one we know, the one on the neck. What does it mean? The, the, so, ah, there's also a good question. The, they have this uh, sensor here, and this sensor measures the movement of the cows. Uh -huh. It measures how many times it chews. It's like, a, how do you call this in English? Uh, it's it's uh, hair cow. So uh, it's, 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 it's the food is coming back from the stomach yes. uh -huh. and it's chewing again. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what chewing the cud, chewing, chewing the cud, the, 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 the cud, yes, yeah, whatever. Yes, no, you're right. yeah. yeah, yes. So, and this is very important for cows. And this, this sensor uh, counts how often this happens. Uh -huh. So if this doesn't happen often enough, of, often enough, you know the cow is sick. Mm. So you can see this in the computer, and then after milking, you can select the cow, and you can check what's wrong with her, or you can give some medic medicines, or whatever. But it also measures if the cow is moving, um, if it's moving a lot, then she is in heat, mm -hmm. and you, you have to inseminate her, for example. Oh. So these sensors, you can, leave, you can have a lot of information from every individual cow. Plus on the milking parlor, we have the amount of milk is measured per cow. So if this drops, for example, you know there's also something wrong. So, uh, so once this cow enters that milking parlor, the sensor uh, connects to the computer and you know the, oh, it yes, has already yes, been milked? Yes, yes. And there's, uh, there's also some sensors in here, uh -huh. these antennas. And they, me they also measure uh, how the cows move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't have enough electricity here because we are in the end of the electricity line. So the so we have uh, solar panels on the roof and we use this electricity directly. We don't sell it. We only use it on our farm. Uh, how many bleeds do you have here? The breed of cows? Oh, Holstein. Holstein. Holstein alone? Only Holsteins. But it's a lot of old genetics. Uh-huh. Um, from 15 years ago, okay, and you can still see it. You know, this cow, for example, yeah. she has it's like her her great great grandparents yes. lived here already like 15 years ago. So, <laughs> that's are you handling how this all these cows are milked? How you are dealing how they are they are milked? The most, uh, I think, the most expensive part of this farm is. The milking parlor or the milking hill here. Uh, the mechanization in this area is out of this world. World class uh, uh, technology uh, that gives you everything that you need to know as a farmer. You is just monitoring via the computer and the mechanization does everything else. So we have uh, 2,300 cows here. Uh, and this is our milking parlor. First things first, with this kind of investment, you know, it's milk that pays. And you've heard that the animals being milked at 2,300. How much milk do you think each cow gives and how many times do you milk per day uh, for this investment to, to start paying or to break even? 
This is the most interesting part. This is the most crazy part in this investment. For example, this cow produced 13 liters uh -huh. and one milking, so times three is 39 liters. Yes. This is uh, nearly 15 liters. Uh -huh. This cow number five, so 14.8 liters. Uh -huh. you know, times three is 42. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this cow is a little bit less, so nearly 10 liters. Mm -hmm. uh, so from every cow, we register um, uh, how much milk she produces. Okay. okay. That's interesting. After milking, things doesn't stop there. The system is complex. The system is uh, world-class, like I told you. The movement of milk from the cow uh, to the to the transport system never comes in contact with with our with our hands or with human hands. It's just direct from the cow to the transport, but the other testing and the other things that are being done between before it's stored or before it's transported. It's still warm here. And then it goes to the, through these chiller, which instant, it's instantly cools the milk. So from like 37 degrees, it's instantly cooled back to 2, 3 degrees. So you can feel it here on this side, you know, it's already cold. So within, within like 30 seconds to 1 minute after the milk comes out of the cow, it's cooled down to 2 degrees. So you don't have uh, bacteria or any... Are you wondering how many minutes this machine takes to milk one cow? And with that rotation, how many animals are milked per hour? <laughs> God, that's why we need to mechanize our farming in order to, uh, to make things easier and soft and enjoyable, if not entertaining. Yeah, it's after six minutes, it's already gone. And but if we wanted, we can turn it faster. But then we have more people, and then we can milk up to 600, 650 cows per hour. Now we do 400 and uh, per hour, 400 cows per hour. Do you sometimes do the manual milking, or it's no, purely no, me no, mechanized? No, 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 no. Okay. So here, here we take a sample, you know, so from the whole, during the whole milking, we take uh, every, you know, every time it does this, it takes a little bit of the milk. So you have an average sample of the whole, uh, of the, of, the, of the whole milking and the milk directly goes into the truck and milk directly goes into the truck oh, truck straight so here you can see it so we don't have uh, storage in the farm it goes directly into the milking truck so when the truck is insulated so the milk stays cool in there for like 3 or 4 hours um, so you know in the truck we, we produce 3 trucks per day um, so you know it takes like, uh, it's roughly one milking, it's like six hours, and then the truck is full, and it drives through the factory. And then we fill the next truck. So, um, you know, you don't have to additionally, additionally cool it. So you know, we save and store it. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed the tech. I hope you've uh, excited as I am. Uh, more to come, more to be shared about the, the tech and the farming. And if this is your first time that you're watching me, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, becoming a member of this YouTube channel, you support my work and everything that I do. And let's grow together. Bye.